So this is a procedure of uh, egg pickup or oocyte pickup. The anesthetist is here. Patient has been given short general anesthesia, and uh, this is the ultrasound machine that we will be using for the pickup. This is the medical refrigerator that we have here. And this is the embryology room where you can see the embryologist getting ready to receive the oocytes uh, after the OPU and uh, do the needful in the embryology room. So we have a team of uh, embryologists who uh, who prepare everything. This is the, the suction uh, pump. Uh, which is used uh, to create vacuum to aspirate the follicles. This is the tray which is used to uh, clean and uh, help in the procedure. As you can see here, this is the transvaginal probe on which I am putting a probe cover. So once I put this uh, probe cover, I will uh, attach the uh, probe guide. So this is the guide which has uh, the uh, option to put in the needle which can aspirate the fluid uh, from the ovaries of the woman so the woman and uh, the girl is under anesthesia now so you can see that there is a hole here through which i will be putting in the needle and this will go into the uh, into the transvaginal uh, uh, the ultrasound uh, image as you can see here so once uh, we uh, uh, we uh, we identify the ovaries so then we start uh, doing the the punctures so this is the needle where you can see the pressure is at 150 mm and you go on aspirating one follicle after the other through this needle uh, by looking at the ultrasound uh, uh, ultrasound so it is quite a simple procedure where the oocyte will be in this uh, fluid that is the egg will be in this fluid and we will uh, aspirate it uh, in the test tube and the test tube will be handed over to the embryologist that is why this procedure of IVF is also called as test tube baby the embryologist will then uh, look at the fluid screen for the oocyte the egg quality and then uh, fertilize it with the sperm by either doing a simple IVF where they mix the egg and the sperm in a test tube or a dish or they will inject the sperm into the egg which is called the ICSI. So like this we aspirate as many follicles as uh, possible. So these many follicles will come uh, depending on the woman's age, response, the injections given for 8 to 10 days. And once the procedure is over, the woman uh, leaves the hospital in uh, 2 hours time once she recovers from the anesthesia. Thank you.